The first ever wind farm along the California coast is up and running near Lompoc. And News Channel anchor Scott Hennessy got an exclusive tour of the Strauss Wind Project there. And he joins us now live in the studio with more on a major new source of renewable energy. Guys, plans for this wind farm have been in the works with the county since 2001. The company Baywa RE got the rights to it in 2016, and it finally powered up in December. You know, especially, you know, here on the coast. Mm -hmm. I mean, obviously that's the best place for a wind turbine. Mm -hmm. so. It's not easy to get up close to these massive energy producing machines perched atop rolling hills near the ocean a few miles outside Lompoc. Yeah, essentially we're a uh, power plant with uh, zero emissions. <laughs> yeah. Lompoc native and Strauss Wind Project facilities manager yeah. Rand Lara gave us the first media tour of the site. Uh, anybody who's from Lompoc or from, you know, the, the, the central coast knows that it's, it's always windy. Yeah. So that's uh, definitely why they chose this location. The breeze was light on the day we visited, but the 220 foot long blades were turning at a steady rate. The energy they generate travels by underground cables to that substation. So everything collects at our substation. It hits a uh, step up transformer and then it uh, hits these transmission lines here and it goes into town. The first ever wind farm along the California coast is expected to generate enough clean energy to power about 36,000 homes. There are 27 giant windmills here at the Strauss wind farm. From foundation to the tip of the turbine blade, the largest of these windmills goes 492 feet up. The spinning fiberglass blades are a potential hazard for birds. Special cameras on three monitoring towers are constantly scanning for them and can distinguish between bird species. It's called identiflight and it basically monitors uh, bird species and, and their flight pattern and it's it's able to send a signal to the wind turbine to shut it down within seconds. I think Identiflight is a really good system. It's been used uh, on many wind farms. Steve Ferry advocated for Identiflight in leading the Santa Barbara Audubon Society's efforts to gain more protections for birds at the wind farm. He questions if there are enough cameras to survey the nearly 3,000 acre site. You see a lot of a lot of birds there. I mean, you're guaranteed to see a red-tailed hawk every time you go there. Ferry successfully okay. lobbied for a plan that increases operating restrictions if too many birds are killed. Frankly, I'm I'm happy that this far wind farm went in there. I wish we could have gotten more protections for birds, but um, you know we got quite a bit. It's, it's been so awesome to be a part of this project um, and see all of the biologists and archaeologists and, and paleontologists come out and, and do their job and, and ensure that everything was constructed uh, with, with the, the animals and the plants in mind. The county land the windmills stand on is owned by local ranchers who are leasing their property to Baywa RE. The renewable energy company expects the Strauss wind farm to generate $40 million in tax revenue during its 30 year lifespan. The energy is being sold to Marin Clean Energy, where it will provide clean power to communities around the Bay Area. Guys, I was curious why they chose the name Strauss for the wind project. I'm told the Baywa RE likes to name their wind projects after composers, so oh, Strauss okay. it is. Oh my gosh, absolutely fantastic story. Really just fascinating information. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, Scott. You, Scott.